I'm with Leon Strauss and Brenda Ainsley from the International Federation for Information Processing. We're speaking on Thursday towards the end of the 2014 WSIS event. We had a lot of ministerial activity today, but really today it's all about the forum and groups like yourselves, international organizations, civil society groups, uh, all joining together to uh, have their say on the process. And is it an effective process? And I'll put that question to you first of all, Leon Strauss. Yes, thank you, Connor. It's uh, definitely an effective process. One of our um, aims is to bring together all the parties. IFIP has been instrumental in organizing events where governmental people, practitioners, researchers sit together and bring in all the different perspectives. And that has proven to be very efficient and successful. And do you have a good relationship with the other sectors, uh, Brenda, the, the civil society groups and the private sector? We do, and it's it's the old story. The more often you meet, the more often you form relationships, you then can leverage those relationships, uh, which is the real the real star performance of the WUSA's process, is coming together constantly, year after year, and even more often for some, um, you do uh, start to appreciate the perspectives of the other participants. And you can layer that on your own endeavours as well as influence their endeavours and, and that's what it's all about. Um, at the end of the day you end up with a common perspective on those things you can have commonality with and you appreciate the differences that you're not able to uh, reach agreement on. And were there any particular workshops or meetings that uh, you really wanted to see this week? Um, well, clearly we wanted to see the sign-off of the, the document we've worked so hard to contribute towards and to reach an accommodation, which uh, we did yesterday late in the day. Um, so that was the real reason for being here. Um, but for today, I've uh, selected a number of um, uh, UNESCO-based um, uh, sessions, which is of particular interest to me with ethics and professionalism and also the education aspects. So I'll be attending shortly the Intel um, presentation, um, which is actually starting uh, fairly soon. Um, and I think uh, t tomorrow I'm actually appearing in a presentation on uh, education through the ITU Academy, the um, capacity building line C4. So they're the particular interest that I have from a, a professionalism perspective. Uh, next year is going to be a very a, a crucial year for this process. It's which is plus 10. Next year is the plus 10. 2015, there'll be a review of uh, where we go beyond there. And what do you want to see achieved in next year's meeting? For me, it's important to have um, a good view of what has been achieved, a clear view, but more importantly, uh, already a plan to continue. Because I'm pretty sure that we haven't achieved everything that we wanted to achieve. Um, so therefore, it's very important to, to have a good plan of action concrete proposals to continue in the next 10 years to make sure that even if we haven't managed 2015 we will manage in the next five to ten years to accomplish what we wanted to do. And what do you want to accomplish? Where do you want to be uh, with regards to IFIP in the next 10 years? With IFIP and in the context of the WSIS, the WISIS uh, goals, I would like to see um, an even increased cooperation between different stakeholders. And um, our, our strength is to, to share knowledge and to offer a platform for the ICT professionals. And I would like to have the whole world engaged in that platform in different activities. We have many activities linked to the action lines of WISIS and that could be strengthened. So I would like to have everybody involved in the next five to ten years. Now, as you said, Brenda Ainsley, the highlight is still the signing of the document yesterday and groups like yourselves have been inputting into that. So everyone was very happy yesterday when it was signed. Uh, the, the documents were about additions to the initial outcome documents in 2005. Uh, the world has changed immeasurably since then when it comes to ICTs. Are organisations such as yours able to keep up with the pace of change? Well, we, we deliver the change. Um, my uh, my organisation's uh, comprised of ICT professionals in largely the developing the developed world, but some in the developing world. So they're the people at the leading edge of delivering on ICTs. Um, we have to stay up, uh, keep up, otherwise we are not keeping our skills up, we're not being professionals, and that's what we're all about. 
So I, I think uh, it's a hard job. I mean, legislation doesn't keep up with technology. Technology uh, is obsolescent almost uh, as it's delivered in the packaging it, uh, you buy it in. So it, it's a very difficult ask. Uh, it's good for the marketers, it's good for retail, but uh, it makes it very difficult for us um, uh, to, to live with. But we do, and somehow we do. Yes. Well, as we can hear, it's all hotting up now, and I know you want to get off to some sessions this morning, so thank you for, for being with us, and enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. Our pleasure.